Spectre Fest 2024 is coming live to everyone on the internet October 19th, 2024. This is our 24 hour gaming marathon that we both do, hosted by none other than. Aduki03! <laughs> and DG Online. And uh, we wanted to tell you about the stream. We wanted to basically inform everybody. There's a f we've, We put out a video every year. Mm -hmm. um, this year we wanted to try something different where we're both in the same room. Exactly. And uh, we'll, we'll kind of just go over the nuts and bolts. In 2021, uh, Dookie and I had were talking about ways to... I, I had brought the idea to Dookie saying, you know what, I w I've had this idea of doing something uh, in memory of my older brother. Mm -hmm. And I said, I don't know what that something looks like. At the time, I, I don't know if you remember or not, at the time I was like, we should, you should come to my house and we'll play games for a few hours. Mm -hmm, yeah. And you had basically said, well, like, what if we turned it instead of that, what if we turned it into like a, a, a marathon, like a 24-hour hour marathon stream. stream? Yeah. And I... I from that point, we, we kind of fell in love with the idea, and we, we rolled yeah. with it. So th back then, the the idea was 24 hours, we would just stream, we'd figure out what it was. We set our goal at, like, $200. Yes, yes. Because we, we, were, we were not confident that uh, people would even show up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, uh, and we reached that in, like, the first two hours, probably. If, if that. Yeah. If, if that. We if, reached all our, like, donation goal rewards in, like, the first two hours. And we were just blown away. And I just remember the people in the comments being, like, so hype about all of it. It was, and, like, like, right from the start. It was just, like, perfect. Yeah. And so, as as the years have gone on, it's only grown from there, and we've had awesome support by both of our communities, and they've been getting other people into it, and then this year we've got uh, a new friend, Grania, who's who's mm -hmm. interested in, in getting her community involved. We're going involved. worldwide with this thing. Worldwide! <laughs> We're going international. And I think it's, like, the perfect way to, to honor Jason, too, because, like, Jason's always been into video games. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Like, it was his love of video games that kind of got you guys it into is. it. And yeah. then it was, like, my love of video games that made our love happen. <laughs> that's, that's all. It's a whole lot of love. So Jason owned all of the gaming consoles in our household, right? So mm -hmm. the, the Super Nintendo that I learned how to play Super Mario World on, that was his game system. The PlayStation 1 I played Final Fantasy VII for the first time on, that was his system. He's he's always been super connected in with video games, and then you were when you very first started streaming, like mm -hmm. the 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 early the days of, of Duty. Yeah. Um, he was in your chat all the time. All the time. You know, and it's really funny. I was so I was looking. I I went back looking for footage, and I stumbled into some of your like super super old oh. streams. And there he is in chat talking. Yeah. You were playing uh, Super Sentai something. Oh, okay. Some real like it was like it was like. Eight years ago, or probably like a like common rider game. Yeah, it was a common rider <laughs> game, and then you're just having a conversation. He's the guy in chat that, that yeah, chat he's with, always so. there. And then when I did my first playthrough of Dragon Quest three, I did the uh, the Game Boy Color remake, and he was my martial artist. I'm pretty sure, or my merchant. Oh, nice. My, yeah, so he was like his character was like the main. Jason's definitely front and center. The whole thing is is the 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 name Spectrefest is named after him. Is online uh name was cd underscore specter one yeah. right so everything surrounding him october 19th we go live for 24 hours straight at 10 a.m 10 a.m standard time at 10 a.m we go live and uh every single penny raised during this period of time anything that's donated we change the donate buttons on our pages so yeah. that they go direct to Crohn's and Clytus Canada. Yeah, they the, go through like the tiltify and there's then, yeah. it, you can donate on the on the website yeah, the directly packs. Um, if you don't want to show up like on screen during yeah. the during the charity, so like a non not even an anonymous, but if you just don't want to show up on screen, yeah. If you want to just make a quiet donation and go on with your day, the mm -hmm. uh, the the easiest way to do that is the address. We'll put it on screen, yeah. but it's tinyurl.com slash specfest twenty twenty four. That's the website that Crohn's and Clays Canada sets up for us. They set yeah. one up for us every year. That is literally direct to the foundation, no stops. Mm -hmm. So that goes directly to them. Um, if you donate to us during the stream, we use a, a system called Tiltify. Yeah. And Tiltify is the uh, the fundraiser 
uh, kind of platform yeah, for, app for donations in Twitch. within and it allows us to rig it into Twitch. Yeah. And so when you make a donation uh, during the stream through Tiltify, it'll pop up on the screen. Notify us. It, notify everyone we'll get watching. We'll get sounds. The, the, the sound effect Diddy, Diddy Kong will play oh, yeah. his little song <laughs> for you. Yo! Vinny and Jess just donated $250! Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> For, the, for anyone who didn't know Jason before, my older brother is uh, somebody that means a great deal, not only to myself, but to you as well. Mm -hmm. um, Dookie's been a close family friend for, for years. And uh, and so Jason got sick in 2002, would have been, um, wasn't feeling good, doctor's appointments. Uh, turns out the diagnosis is ulcerative colitis. Ulcerative colitis is a uh, an IBD, a, a disease of your intestine, and it causes these ulcers to uh, form, and it just makes life miserable. You don't feel good. You feel really sick all the time. Certain foods will trigger it. Certain foods won't, and then certain foods that didn't trigger it all of a sudden do trigger well, it. Yeah. And uh, and it's it's not it's it's not a, a an awesome place to be, right? Uh, and so Jason would have been. 2001 he would have been just over 20 maybe 22 years old at the time uh, of diagnosis and so he managed to get his disease into remission into like a remission state through the use of medications and through the use of, of diet change and all these other things and uh, throughout that time period between 2002 and 2018 um, there would be these flare-ups that would happen on a regular basis it'd be really tough to It'd be it really tough. To, well, and it's just tough to do anything, right? Yeah. Like you're not going on trips because you, if you're stuck in the car for longer than a small period of time, you might have to go to the bathroom eight times. Yeah, along no the way, doubt, eh? Right. I remember in his vehicle, we always have a roll of toilet paper in there because you just you never know mm -hmm. you, something's going to happen, right? So, um, and then when we do go on trips, you're planning it based on where bathrooms are available. Yeah. So the there, there's a there's a lot of stuff with that and it's not it's not a comfortable subject to talk about yeah but through this this is what we want to do we want to make it a comfortable subject mm -hmm. right from the first specter fest it went from like knowing like like i have ibs and then knowing that jason had colitis and i had a cousin that had colitis mm -hmm. and then like everybody like so many people in chat yeah. have had like IBS or know somebody that has colitis or Crohn's and We've, stuff like that. And it's like, holy, like I had no idea. Absolutely. This is just a topic that people don't talk about. Right. Yeah, and exactly. so I think a big part of even like doing the charity is like getting the awareness out there that like, 100%. it's completely okay to talk about this yeah. kind of stuff. And like, it's a problem that nobody's comfortable having, but it shouldn't be a problem to talk exactly. to others about it. Cause it's more, it's easier to kind of dare I say, like suffer through something when you know that there are other, you're not the only one. Like there's other totally. people that have been through it. There's other people you can kind of relate to and, and work with each other to find out what works for you and what and worked for them. Learning other people who have it and connecting with other people who mm -hmm. have it brings you into a state where you're more open to discussing. Yeah, about absolutely. It, right? 2018 comes around. Uh, medicine's not doing the job anymore. He's starting to lose weight and he's uh, food's not staying where the food needs to stay kind of thing. Right. Yeah. Um, and so he ends up being hospitalized. The decision is made at that point to, to do a colostomy bag, which is essentially they're going to cut that section out of his, uh, oh, of his intestines that. and replace it with a bag and the bag's going to collect. He's, he's, his, his bum's not going to work anymore. Yeah, basically, yeah. Right. Like, yeah, um, and so it is what it is. And keep in mind, he was like, what, like 35 at this time? Yeah. 2018. So he's born in 82. So 36 years old, um, going about to go through the surgery. And, uh, unfortunately that, that kind of, that was it. The colostomy surgery was set to happen, and then when they, when they went in to do that surgery, um, Jason was just too weak, and he just, that was it. Like he just didn't come back out of surgery after that, unfortunately. So, um, my younger brother and I remember driving up to the the city to to the hospital because my 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 mom and dad were up there with him. Right. Um, and so they called us at like five thirty in the morning and said, Hey, you got to come down here. Things didn't go the way that we thought it was going to go. And so I remember my younger brother driving and, and we were just like, like, we don't know what's going to happen here. Yeah. Right. But we knew what was going to happen. Right. Because 
They don't call you. They're not going to call you at five thirty in the morning because great. things are going great. And, yeah. And so, uh, yeah, we we got in there, uh, went into the hospital room, and and Jason passed away like within twenty minutes of us arriving, basically. So I like to think that he that he held on long enough for us to arrive. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's sad to talk about, but that's not the point of this video, right? From that, for the next three years 2019 2020 and then into 2021 yeah i was i was struggling because i wanted to do something right i i felt that that jason made a mark on the world we wanted to make sure that that didn't go unheard Mm -hmm. and so that was the creation of this so we got in touch with crohn's and colitis canada at that point yeah (laughs) honestly we just said like hey we'd like we'd like to do something to to support your yeah. fa- like foundation tell, or tell whatever. Us, tell us options that we have. This is this is what we bring to the table. Yeah, exactly. What we, can we do? We both stream. We yeah. both we have we had at the time like very small. I mean, we still have a small community, but it was very small at, at that, that time. I, yeah, it was about a, a maybe a third of the size of where we're at. Yeah, now. probably even less. In in those discussions, we basically said, well, this is what we have an idea for. We would like to host this marathon stream. This is what we've done. We've done it before in the past. Yeah. Uh, Dukey and I. Extra life. We that did extra quite life a quite a ago. few years ago. But we had at least an idea based on how, how to do it. We had experience, yeah. right? And we knew enough people who had done 24-hour streams before. You had quite yeah. a few friends. Yeah. And they all gave us tips and hints. And thank you to all of those folks yeah, that kind of helped us along the it's way. It's been awesome. Um, and so we came up with the concept of it. We drew up the posters, some of the original art, not the best work that we've ever done. <laughs> but um, and then you look at where we're at now, and some of the 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 new posters and the new media oh, yeah. that we're putting out, and and to look at it at this is being our fourth year of doing this. Uh, how much it's grown? Stream, how much it's grown? Mm-hmm. And uh, again, with all that money going to Crohn's and Colitis Canada. We've raised just about twelve thousand dollars. Yeah, we had somebody in chat from from the uh, charity tell us that thanks to that twelve thousand dollars, they need ten thousand dollars in order to do a research grant, and so this event has paid for one research grant. Yeah, because of this, we're helping uh, create a, a pathway to a cure. Creating and and they've had all these massive breakthroughs over the last medication few years. There's, wise, been, there's yeah. been a lot. Like there there's um there's this marker that that doctors have found that can pinpoint out actually the like the pre existing of of an IBD in a person. Oh, really? and get you either on a course of meds or figured out how to deal with that to prevent it from to getting prevent to it from point. getting worse. Right, and so all of this has helped push those advances forward. Yeah. Right. And that's the way that I look at it. Right. Yeah. I mean, the uh, the other thing is that it, it, some of the personal pages that are on the Crohn's and Colitis website, the Spectre Fest is one of the top one of the ones top now. ones in the, the personal fundraising pages. Yeah. Um, and and that's not we we go on stream and do stuff. Yeah. That's all that's you, you guys. <laughs> you man. guys are the ones that do that. Um, and uh, and and that's 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 the beauty of it is that we we have the ability to make a difference in the world and that's what this is actually all about. Absolutely. I think this year I really, I don't know if it's possible, but I really would like to see us cause we're at, we're just shy of 12,000. Yeah. I would love by some miracle for us to hit 20,000. That would be amazing. That would be incredible. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to say was I think my favorite thing coming into Spectre Fest every year um, obviously like the planning and everything's like a lot of work and that's like quite stressful, but it's <laughs> yeah. all worth it when you find like new people in our community yeah. that have only, that haven't been here for a full year yet. And then they start hearing of like whispers of Spectre Fest in the discord yeah. and they're like, Oh, this sounds awesome. This is great. Yeah. And they're like, they're like, they're like, Oh man, this sounds like it's going to be so awesome. And it's like, that just like lifts my spirit so it much is. when we yeah. have like every year we get new people in our community and they haven't maybe heard of Spectre exactly. Fest. And then as it's coming up, they're like, oh man, they get as hyped as yeah. we are for it. Yeah, it's it's amazing. And not only that, but we've also brought quite a few people in the community that are like, I have Crohn's disease and yes. thank you for doing this. Yeah. Um, and I've, I've met quite a few people. Um, there's another group that does uh, an event earlier in the year called Gaming for Guts. 
Oh, and, yeah. Uh, and they, they do a very similar thing. And now I want to say there's three, four, five. Really? Like, hey? they're, they're starting to grow. That's awesome. And, and it's awesome. It's just great to see other people finding something that they can make a connection with, right? No doubt. The goals and the, uh, the, the donation rewards, we set things up every year. The schedule is light (laughs) (laughs) and loose yeah we kind of play loose with the the schedule a little bit we want to make sure we put something out so that you know what you're to expect into yeah but i mean sometimes things change and i mean with it being technology too especially with myself i find i'll unplug one system plug it in and then it doesn't work (laughs) doesn't work and so (laughs) and so because it just happens to be that way so the schedule is not set in stone but it is an idea it's an idea of what to expect and then the donation rewards, we, we try to do in the moment donation rewards and then build up donation rewards. Yeah. Um, I guess something that's not listed there, we, we, we've been toying with the idea. Last year, something that came out of the stream was Team Even and Team Odd donation. Yeah. Where where two two sides, you would kind of pick your side at wherever a point. Or you could switch sides too, no one was yeah. stopping you. But making the donation total either end an in even an even number. number or an odd number. Um, and so we've got a couple things lined up for, for potentially ending the block on, on either team even or team odd. Maybe yeah. we'll keep track of the score and whatever team wins by the end of it. We'll, we'll, we'll have kind of a bigger reward or something like that, but we yeah. got, we got stuff planned. Yep. It's going to be a good time. We hope to see you there. going to see you there. It's October 19th, 10 a.m. until October 20th. At 10 a.m. It's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, thank you for, for from both of us. Absolutely. Thank you very much. We really appreciate your support. Check out the website. Do the donation things. If you have any questions or uh, if you have any questions or want to learn more, uh, check out our streams at any point yeah, from between now and, the, and October 19th. You can also join the Discord. We'll put that link there as well yeah uh and not only us but the community uh is is excited for the event as well and you'll be uh you'll be in you'll be among friends among friends (laughs) we'll see you later see ya